everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Amber Rose, also known as The Religious Hippie. You can basically follow me on any social media platform, and don't forget to check out my official website at thereligioushippie.com. So today's Saint Short is Saint Francis de Sales. Many of you guys are familiar with Saint Francis de Sales because he came highly requested from you guys. So if you guys chose Saint Francis de Sales as your confirmation saint, comment below. Francis was born to a very noble family near Geneva, Switzerland in 1567. From a very young age, you could tell that he was meant to serve God and he was very gentle, he was very intelligent from a very young age and he knew that his calling was priesthood. However, his father wanted him to go into law and politics. So that's exactly what he did. In order to honor his father's wishes, Francis decided to go study at the University of Paris. At the age of 24, he graduated from the University of Padua with a doctorate in law. Francis was a private person, so he was very private about his devotions and mental prayer. He wanted to serve God, but he also did not want to disappoint his father. One day while riding his horse, God made it very clear that he would not wait anymore for Francis to come into the priesthood. While riding, he fell three times. Each time he fell, the sword came loose from the scabbard, and the scabbard and the sword landed in a shape of a cross. Despite his father's pushback, Francis became a priest in 1593. Now this was during the time of the Protestant Reformation, so Francis decided to set out and bring 60,000 fallen away Catholics back to the faith. It was really hard and honestly really discouraging work. He had doors slammed in his face, he had rocks thrown at him, he was yelled at, he was cursed at. Honestly, any normal person would have been discouraged, but not Francis. In the winter, it got so bad, his feet would freeze and bleed, and it almost became impossible to walk because he was walking um, in such laborious ways. So it really shows you the effort he was putting in to save souls. Eventually, Francis realized the adults were not going to listen to him, so he decided to go to the children instead. He also wrote pamphlets about Catholicism on pieces of paper, and he would slip them under people's doors. This is the earliest this is the earliest sign of people trying to evangelize um, through means of like pamphlets and things like that. Now once the adults saw Francis interacting with the kids and how kind he was with them and how well he worked with them, they started opening up to him a lot more and he actually ended up bringing back around 40,000 people back to the Catholic faith. Eventually he became the Bishop of Geneva, but the weight of the position began to weigh on him physically and he became ill very often. He was a profound spiritual director for many lay people and he wrote an amazing book called The Introduction to the Devout Life. This is one of my most favorite books. You guys have got to read this book. Francis died in 1662 and he was canonized in 1665. He is the patron saint of Catholic press, Catholic writers, the deaf, journalist, and adult education. Wow, you guys. I mean, honestly though, when I hear these saint stories, it just amazes me the faith that they have in God, the, uh, the, just how much they're willing to suffer in order to bring souls into the church. It really inspires me to be more like them and to do my best to try and save souls and bring people back into the church who have fallen away or who might not have ever been Catholic but have misconceptions about the faith or just want to learn about it. Um, that is my goal. That is my sole goal is to save souls. And all of this is only possible through Christ. I am simply a tool in his hands. The people who find my channel, the people who listen to me talk, they're all here because this is the moment God created them for and he led them here. I've simply done nothing but put all of my stuff in God's hands and he does with it what he wills. Of course, that doesn't mean that there's no hard work on my part. I mean, look at St. Francis de Sales. He brought back 40,000 people who fell away from the church during the Protestant Reformation, but look how much he suffered because of it as well. And look how much trust he put in God. Obviously, we live in different times now, but so many things are still the same. Um, there are still so many souls, even more now, that need to be saved. And so, I don't know, St. Francis de Sales is one of those saints that I've always loved. And I hope you guys love this short too. All right, with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this short saint story. And let me know if St. Francis de Sales is your confirmation saint. Comment below what saint I should do next, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!